NFL. It's time for the KSNT Sports award-winning football frenzy with Pete Francis and Sully Engels. Welcome to Football Frenzy. Pete Francis, Sully Ingles, state title berths on the line tonight, Sully. So many great matchups. We're legally obligated to only pick one. It's in our contract, and that's always a tough choice, right, Pete? Yep. Let's go to Seneca. <laughs> the Dogs undefeated. The Thunder, the defending state champs. Bo Reeves is back and healthy for the Dogs, and he's bringing some bark. Tori Horrock hits him right on the money for the score. <laughs> 6-0, that deserves a bark, and Bo knows defense, too. How about an interception? Great job finding the ball there. That Bo deserves too. another bark, too. Hoof. Back on offense and back to the air. Horrock to Reeves again. Bark. Hoof. Then it's Woodrow Rezac on the attack and in for the score. Bark. Hoof. <laughs> Nimaha Central makes it interesting, but Rossville gets the win. 31-19, Bark. Hoof. The Dogs are headed to state. With everything that's happened this season, it's... Uh... You know, battling through all the COVID and having to go through all those regulations and not even know if we were getting to have a season. This is this is beyond amazing, man. This is this is something we've all we've worked for since we were in third grade, just starting putting on pads. I mean, it's amazing. Our one last go. You know, we're giving all we got. We got one more game, and that's you know we're gonna give it all we got. You know, the kids have definitely earned it. This has been a challenging year from you know not only playing a good team tonight, but just all the challenges that we've had. Um, you know, to get here. So uh, it, it feels like we've uh, got a sense of accomplishment, but uh, I've already heard our kids talking about how, you know, we've got another game. So we'll regroup and refocus and be ready to go next week. And this sets up a battle of unbeatens in Salina next week, Rossville and Poison Finn. Bo and Tori growing off playoff beards. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like it too. Function at the Junction. 6 day defending champs in town. Derby taking on Junction City. Last game at Al Simpler Stadium. Dylan Edwards gets a scoring started for Derby. Outruns the defense for the touchdown. Derby would add another before the Blue Jays return the favor. Andrew Corey connects with Russell Wilkie for the dizzle. Those two have been doing it all season. But the Panthers just too strong in this one. They run away late in the game. We take it 62-27, but a great season for JC. Definitely. Harry LeCompton looking to get back to the state title game for the second straight year, facing off with a red-hot Holton team. No score after one. Wildcats strike first. Matt Lears knocks home the 24-yard field goal to make it 3-0. Shouts to all the kickers. You love yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Here come the cause. Thad Metcalf hits Parker Stone, and he's stone cold. The cause are glad to have him back on the field this week. Into the end zone. He's pumped. 6-3 cause. And they'll go for two cause. That's what they do. Oh, Metcalf yeah. scrambles and finds Dawson Williams. And when you convert, why not? 8-3 mm -hmm. at the half. Thad Metcalf taken over, keeps it himself for six. Going for two again, and Thad wants to get back to state bad. He's in, and the Cause are back in the state championship game for the second straight year. 22 to nine the final. They get another shot at Andale. That's gonna be a great one. How about some 1A action from Olpe? Eagles taking on Linden. Olpe topped the Tigers early in the season, 13-7. This one was very similar, first quarter. Linden puts it up, but Olpe's Damon Redeker. He's coming down with it. Interception, he's also the quarterback. That one will be brought back, the return on the penalty. Redeker, he don't care though. He can sling it as well. Throws a dime off the play action to Gabriel Castillo. Wow. Opie leads it 7-0. Linden trying to answer back. Luke Detweiler, Karen picking up big gains up the middle. Drive gets to the goal line, fourth down. They go for it. Ted Skowski, they'll have none of that up in here. A huge stop for Opie. And then Opie puts together a 99-yard drive. A couple runs to get them out of the end zone area. Then another big pass to Castillo. What a catch on this one. Comes down with it. They finish that one off with a goal line sneak to start the second quarter. Late in the first half now. Linden answers with a 68-yard strike from Damian Massey to Ethan Eddington. The Tigers love it. They would add a score in the second half to make it 14-12. But Opie's defense holds on, stops them on a fake field goal late. And the Eagles are headed to the title game. They win it 14 to 12. Oh, good one there. And an eight man tonight. It's Hanover advancing to the state title game 74 to 26. So we've got our tickets punch, right. Sully. What are your thoughts on tonight's action? Well, you know, it's a little bit of both. The teams we previewed early in the year, Rossville and Perry Lecompton, we said they're going to be good all season. One loss combined between the two, both going back to state title games. Then you got a team like Olpe. We didn't talk about them as much. 
They are just phenomenal this year. This is my first time really getting to see them play. Great quarterback. It's a lot of surprises, a lot of things that we knew as well. So it was just a great season of football. I like more big that week. Perry LeCompton is getting another shot at Andale. Yeah, to be too. the best, you got to beat the best. Yeah. So they get another shot. Exactly. And Looking I got to say, a special one. shout out to Thad Metcalf, you know, the running back to start the year. You see him throwing dimes out there every week. Just an impressive group right there. So that should be a fun one in 3A. And for Rossville, good to see Bo Reeves back and healthy tonight. He's been banged up pretty much all throughout the playoffs. Yep. But when they needed him, he really stepped up tonight. Yeah, big wins all around there. What a week. And still got one more to go. So state finals on Saturdays next weekend. That's going to be phenomenal. All right, we're going to take a quick break. And when we return, we'll preview the weekend for K-State. More football frenzy on the way.